Welcome back to Black Tiff's Coming Lounge. My name is Black Tiff, and here we are on a beautiful Tuesday morning, getting ready to do some cool and absolutely insane things here in a good old Wolf Hunter, people. So let's crank this up. That is picking up happily. So good morning to you, Riley and Brian. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the lounge. So I just want to stick this up uh, this side, pin that one up there beauty and full so welcome to the guys on tiktok joining up there it's good to have you as well and omar hey buddy welcome back my friend it's good to see you so as always people thank you for all the new subscribers and followers we are getting closer and closer every day to hitting our goals we are very close here on youtube to hit that goal and on TikTok, we are now officially 12 follows away from 600. So that's another big milestone, very quickly reached. So let's keep pushing. But before we kick off in today to look at what is required of us from the snail, then let's check what's in the news. Because, <clears throat> yeah, I know everybody is sitting here waiting, waiting. There's nothing here. Uh, on seeing what is the outcome of the winter event. Yes, that is the next thing that is upcoming on our list. That is the big one of the year. Although we already had a summer event, which was equally big. But we're all waiting for the beautiful winter event to roll around and show its beautiful, ugly face to us all. So we can start grinding and forget about Christmas and just go, we have to work because the snail demands nothing but our attention, our life, and a bit of our money. <laughs> so, um, what are we doing this morning? Well, I split it into sort of two kind of categories. Um, with the hopes that this doesn't fall apart for me. Um, a, I need to do this one. Destroy player vehicles using SPG. Destroy player vehicles using SPG. This one we need to get done. So we need six kills knock that one off the list and then we need to come back and focus on thunderbirds stylus hunter kind of falls in that same category of three kills with an spg without dying uh we need to do it four more times but we have to it's january when the thing runs 24th of jan yeah so that's when it's running until, until the 24th of jan but yes, that will be the other thing we'll focus on. For that one, we will switch away from the great and amazing SPGs here. Let me just move my microphones. I'm not happy with them. So sorry about that. Uh, we will move away from these great machines of war down to the British stuff so I can come and get the vibe in. Really nothing more, nothing less. It's my preferred striker because this one is get 20 kills with a striker craft on ground and naval targets. So, there we go. That is the preferred way to do it. But for now, let's kick it off into BR5, and that's basically going to be the flavor of the day is 5. Um, once this is done, because like I said, I'm, I'm just really behind on Battle Pass stuff. We've got 5, I need at least 15. Um, yeah, then we're going to... I'll continue grinding up so the countries we have really in the positions to do that with is germany ussr great britain italy is kind of there too but well we'll leave italy just being crazy by themselves in the background so let's kick it off and continue on this grind mm. I'm also kind of sad that I don't have the Breda 1953 anymore. That Breda was good. This Breda is good. But that Breda, I feel, is better. Yeah, look at this. The Da 90, which is actually the original one, is now better than the mod 43 and they now have the same amount of pow pow in them as well so let's kick it off and see how awake i am this morning uh it was nasty hot and humid overnight and it is still nasty hot and humid so i don't know my brain feels feels kind of like a poached egg inside of my skull <laughs> so uh yeah if you just see me stop moving just give me a minute my brain is playing catch up here it's blue screening a little. 
the circle of impending doom is spinning at max speed, so I've just... Ah! Screwed by my little wings again. Around the corner we go, and out the other side. Beautiful. This is so pretty. Okay, now, now it's time to play. Careful. Okay, not quite. I was one, one block too far back. But it's always good to play careful anyway, because out here, um, the enemy doesn't always wait for you to charge in there like Rambo. They'll, they'll come and find you. They have very little regard for your safety and health, so... Oh, don't screw me now, buddy. Come on. Bloody hell. Oh, and he got me. I was just about to take a shot through there. I know where he is. Um, go up this way. He is... Wait, light, please. Come on. Come on. Wow. I thought I was slow this morning, but it seems like the game is 10 times slower than me. That's kind of wild. Now okay, let's get back on board with this one and keep it going, people. Let's give it going. And uh, yeah, just good morning to people that are on TikTok joining up. It's good to have you here. That was weak. Weak and sad. My guy's got like three kills because he's being a prick. Yeah, I went to the obvious space to do the obvious thing, so I, I can't really complain that I got whipped there. But, uh, yeah, sometimes one needs to do things in the obvious spot to do greatness. Me, me and one of these other guys have been doing some great stuff. Alright, that... This is the same guy. Yeah, those two need to... They need to be amputated quickly, otherwise we are going to be screwed. See, we've got some togs on the battlefield, which is lovely. Shot one and killed one the other day. It was great. Um, didn't feel anything for him. <laughs> uh, I actually felt bad for him. He didn't know I was there. He got shot right through the damn gun port on the side. There's a flat pin on the side through a gun port, which is a little weaker. Uh, okay, we are getting walked over here. Uh, not so nicely. I don't know what is going on here, but we are... We are definitely not in control of the situation here anymore. I'm assuming I'm also going to only see the guy when it's too late to take a shot. Hmm. Don't feel good running around and in the fun in the blind because it's that's what I feel like I'm doing I'm running around in here blind and uh, yeah my tank a turret turn is pretty low like degrees per second real low the movement speed I hit 20 21 22 so it's got some speed shall we say let's, let's not over at exaggerate the awesomeness of this thing's mobility it's good for sitting and being missed by enemy team members who are running past you at 100 miles an hour that is its specialty to be missed i think i hear something too i'm not sure where that sounded like an r3 Oh, there that tree goes. Was down this way that there's trees falling in the forest. Random trees just collapsing. That's a bad sign. Yeah, I've got no handle on this match. Normally you kind of get an idea what's going on, maybe where the enemies are going, what is the tactic being followed. This time, 
<laughs> uh, let's just hope that I see them before they see me. That's that is really what we're going for. Be not be seen. Okay, we've got something marked up. There we go. Frank doesn't matter. No, not really. Not when you're using a gun. Which has no business being this low. But, shh, don't tell the snail. I don't want the snail to know. They might have silly ideas about such such things and make changes to the game that it removes my beautiful weapon system. And yes, you're slow. You can get basically machine gun to death. Oh. Blew the wheels of that one. Eye for an eye. Uh oh. Uh, oh, skill matters. Oh, that man is so high above me. Damn. Um, not a good thing for him. Oh! Number three. Pow, pow. Hello, sir. I could hear something. I didn't see him. I heard him. Well, that's another one of the uh, triple kills that we had to do. Knocked off the list, which is good. Uh, Google, can you can you go away, please? I'm trying to not deal with broken apps on my phone. I'm trying to on a fight here. Hey, yeah, the Dumbman Squadron fighter and bomber, pretty much. Hey, Ryan, how you doing, brother? Welcome back to the game launch, man. I can hear things. It's not clearly, but I can I can hear things in the background, and it, it's getting to me. I'm not gonna lie; it really is kind of getting to me. I could go and cap that thing too, but it's probably you guys. Yeah, this tank's best thing is to sit and play dead. People so often just don't see it like it's not tank shaped enough or something so they they easily miss what it actually is damn it there it is you know how far I have to drive out yet to shoot at you sir better than I want to and I don't have the speed here to be cool either, so maybe dying soon. Well, none of my guys are dead. So. Minor inconvenience. Hey, Alex, welcome back to the game lunch, and thank you for leaving those likes. That was a very, very kind of you. Ryan, after so grinding off camera, I got the Tiger 2 Ferdinand. I need to buy that one. I need 28 for the Jag Tiger. Nice, man. Very nice, man. How are you doing, Alex? It's good to have you back here on TikTok with us. I don't know if that guy is dead yet or not. I'm assuming not. There's also a guy wildly far behind me. So he's sitting right in there. I don't know what it is. I keep shooting at it, but I ain't dying. Uh. 
first. <laughs> no, you'll not do that. What tank is that? This is the uh, Italian M41M. It is uh, beautiful, disgusting, and absolutely bloody murderous, and I love it. Ooh -ooh. Somebody be seeing me. Somebody that I'm not seeing is seeing me. we still got a lot of gameplay to do before I can get so comfortable that I don't mind getting shot at. Unless the guy literally shot through somewhere. Well, I'm probably going to die here, so it's alright. I've got two shells left. Too much. Didn't you say you're grinding for the Jaguar 30? Uh, yes, I'm going for the Ferdinand, man. Or, I'm completing the 109G and then I am going for the. Uh, yeah, he's right there, buddy. Right there, buddy. I'm gonna complete the 109 and then I will go for it. But yet, yeah, nonetheless, it is on the uh, it is on the list. Oh, you missed again. And now I've got more problems than I have solutions because I'm running out of ammo. I've got literally one shell left in this thing. Uh, it's such a curse having only one shell, and I don't know what the hell I'm shooting into because that thing is not dying, and he is still sitting there. Uh, Duff, I might, I might, my good friend's first lieutenant of that's chicken come down to. That's cool, man. Yeah, I, I can do nothing more here other than die, so I'm just gonna kind of start removing myself from the zone. As much as I want to die and actually get my plane out, I also don't want to just give it away like free candy. Uh, this one. I don't think there's anything I can really do to this guy that is going to improve my situation so drastically that I'm gonna kill him unless he basically moves out of his hole. I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. Now I have more problems than I have solutions. Because it killed my engine. And he can see me. Air support. Sir, sir, I need the air support. Sir. Ah, oh, sir. You tell me that's a comment, I'm gonna kick you in the head, game. As dog crap. Comments have no armor. Lying game. Comment has like five moles of armor. You can fart on the thing and kill him. Don't believe me? Go and fight BR5. British tanks. I'm not talking about the Churchill and that stuff. I'm talking about the other ones, right? Uh, they light to mediums. You can kill that thing with a 7 mm machine gun. Almost. But I want my damn revenge, so step aside. And yeah, if you're wondering why I'm flying with this ugly monstrosity, it's because I have a need to uh, get kills with striker craft, so... This is technically a striker, so therefore we will strike. But I need to really, really carefully plan my routes of this thing. Um, it's, it's got great guns. And this is the SM-92, not the 91. Um, but it has this weird, like, it just flaps around thing that goes on. That I can't say I'm a huge fan of. Oh, 
target destroyed. <laughs> and I ripped my wing off. Well, there you go. That's how you do it. Get a kill and do a, a freaking barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know what happened there. I think it's I touched the tree, but I didn't touch the tree because I was... Yeah, you would literally see a piece of wing go away. But there we are. Final blue. Nice. Nice. That is a German insignia. Yeah, well, this is World War II stuff, so... I would surprise, be surprised if it didn't have German insignia on it. Yes, that is the Iron Cross of the Luftwaffe. Okay, so... Yeah. We need 10 more of those kills, and we need two more of those ones. Because I basically got two in that match. So that, that is actually really nice. Okay, my boosters are kind of just dying on me here. Uh, let's have a quick look. So, yeah, that means we only need two out of the six. So we took four off the board. And the current one is destroy players using an SBAA. Ooh, there, there's something specific that I want for this, but yes. Uh, BR, we're doing BR5, basically, man. Uh, because after this, I want to complete those 10 kills, and I want to get the Vivan out for that particular job. Much better bombs to do it. See, SBAA kind of takes me away from where I want to be. Um, for that, I'll either go to Russia or, 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 or Sweden. My V little Swedish wagon, this one. So it's now the lowest rank three tank in the game. There used to be many of them, but most of them got kicked down to rank two. Um, but the L62 Anti 2 is the one I have to use. Uh, what I would like is this thing that I'm grinding on the AMX DCA 40. Um, I'll just give you a little demonstration, mate. Fair enough, Ryan. Yeah, man, today is just about actually getting some goals done rather than grinding further up the food chain. Um, yeah, as you can see, SBG kills with the Italians. Much easier than any other one. Uh, yeah. This is the vehicle that I'm looking for for doing my SBAA stuff. Oh, jeez. What did I hit there? I don't think I hit anything, but there we are. So, yeah. Uh, Panzer Force sees even these these bad boys, if you catch them in the, in the right spot, you're going to start putting hell on them. Uh, if you catch them side on, they're dead. Which is beautiful. But yeah, um, that is the vehicle I kind of want to do SBAA kills with. But that one still requires grind, so that one is really not on the list for me. So what we might do is we'll jump back here, we need to get our stuff, we'll roll this over to another thing. We not require a number of battles, that is a hard no, because that is, this takes forever. Uh, rep help with repairs. I'll give it a go, but helping with repairs has been pretty low on my list. Um, I've played days where I just haven't been able to help anybody. Yeah, some of the AAs are... It's more like tanks than it is. Or if you go to the high BRs, the 20 and 30 mil guns become light tanks. They don't classify as AA anymore. Hey Wasp, how you doing man? It's good to see you. the F range. That's cool, man. Yeah, let's go out and kick this off. Uh, I'll get a walker. I want to do a few. Uh, we'll see, man. I've got a. I'm 
grinding on some specific things, but we might be able to work something out where I've got a striker craft at the right BR for rank 3. Do, 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 do. Come on, boys, let's go crush the enemy. What's up, Elgus? You can come over here if you want, Piggy. Come on there. Swing your caboose. There we go. Not touching. Personal space is not cool. Okay, I'll tell you what's there. Not die. <laughs> I can try that too. Okay. Let me through, buddy. I'm not trying to start anything with your brother. I'm just trying to fly my land bird through the crevices. Cockroach got shore wings on it. Dude's feeling very confident about his abilities to uh, push up and murder. That's fair enough. I would be too if I was in that tank and it wasn't an up tier match. I always feel confident in that, with that thing's abilities. Let me help you there, sir. There's something dirty close to us here. Uh, nothing coming over the hillside. That guy got beat with a stick and he was not quite prepared for what just happened to him. And my ass is not just hanging out here for giggle time. How good you ran into sweet. Yeah, that would be cool, Brian. Um, I need to get into the higher tier stuff, but man, I just, I don't know. Not my forte. I like slow and steady wins the race. Sir, do you have damage of the brain? I feel like you may. Guy's right here, brother. Uh, that's our guy shooting through there. Oh, damn. He got my gun. He got my gun. I am so screwed now. Uh, dude, can you not shoot, like, through where I am? I'd like not to have accidental death syndrome here. I thought I could help him, but I'm not coming to modern. Well, who knows what comes, man. I think there's a there's a big line of things that will be coming and more modern stuff is on the list. All I hope for, and this is my hope, right, is that we start receiving modern artillery pieces. Look at the American stuff, look at the Russian stuff, look at the Chinese stuff. There is many, many, woo, hello. Many, many modern systems for artillery. I saw a tank. Animal shooting at me. I lost sight of him. But it still didn't save his ass, so hope he does. I get one more kill, then it's another trip off the list. I don't believe that is one of our guys going through this side. Yeah, he's not very happy with me now. But yeah, modern day artillery would be would be where it's at. 
Yeah, it's literally sitting right, right there. I was saying anything, guys. You probably crawled on behind there again. I'm assuming my friend is gonna try and ambush me from behind. Although I get the feeling that I could have already been ambushed from behind with the way that these guys are driving into the zone. Which one is the live one? Which one is the dead one? There we go. Beautiful. KV1 says goodnight. And that makes the third kill. So we only have one more triple kill to get so we can knock that one off the list as well. Yeah, I'd love to see the SU-27 flankers. Nice, man. Yeah, like, I, I, as we go on, we are just going to have to see more modern stuff unless they start pulling out more and more um, stuff that was concept vehicles. I have no problem with that. I don't even have a problem if they come up with random tanks, you know, just crazy ideas of their own. Um, but yeah, as time goes on, World War One and World War Two stuff, there was literally only that many there. So, you can only go so far. Well, that's what you get for being a prick sitting in there. Sorry, but I feel it's due payment for behavior. No, it must have been a bush, I see. Sorry, I saw something move, but I did see something. It was just not what I was... It wasn't big, metal, and lumpy. That's all. Well, I'm assuming that's my guy that I'm hearing, but... He seems to be attracting too much artillery attention. Or super weapons like the Wonder Wolf. Yeah, I know. But that's what I mean. Like, you, you either have to go to the annals of history and pull out conceptual weapons. And we have quite a few of them, you know. Um, One-offs, conceptuals. That, that, is, that is your bread and butter for where you go. Absolute nonsense game. That guy did not kill my gunner. But I'm gonna bomb the crap out of this place, so. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, Cromwell's not dying. And my arms are six meters long. Assuming we wanna lie like that game. But it's alright, I know where he is now. Where was that guy, Reaper Goku? You, sir, are a cheater, and you shall be punished for it. But yeah, um... There's a lot of weapon systems and weird stuff they could bring in, but... We'll see. Um, I think the big thing is everybody wants to play super ultra modern weapons um, so that's probably where we will be going for quite some time Bad boy playing, gonna slow down for silliness. Still got 150, not that it really helps me at all, almost. Okay. Still got tons of ammo. Okay, let's uh, get back to base. Get some more ammo, get a bit of repairs. Yeah, I got, I took a shot, a pretty bad shot on that engine, but it is not my Vivan because the Vivan gets coughed on and then I think dies. 
Like, the... yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, right? I, I want to see modern day artillery because, yes, you can take something like the 2S3M, the G6, and all these other tanks, and you can kill a modern day vehicle. Like, you can kill a BR12 tank with the thing, like, no problem if you know what you're doing. The real problem is, of course, is that, you know, your turret turn speed is maybe on the good end, 30, maybe 35, maybe getting close to 40 degrees a second. Their ones is like double, triple that. Hey, Foo, how you doing, brother? Welcome back, man. How are you doing today? So they got much better stuff. They got guns that fire extremely quickly that will go straight through you like you are in danger when you're up there but if you can get a modern day system something with laser rangefinder thermal scope and you just really sit out there and be an absolute pain it's not so much fun because imagine that right if you had a modern day artillery piece sitting in one of these modern battles you just wait, like, you sit back for the first minute, let everybody run in there, half the team dies, and then you go back in there and just basically clean it up. That's where it's fun. And I'll tell you mode. Yeah, see, that is probably where it would have to go. You'd have to go to something like um, World of Tanks. And do artillery mode where you literally you have it for those who haven't seen this because i know some people have never played it if you play artillery you go into your fire mode you get a top-down view of the map and unless a target is sighted by somebody else you can't see it you can see stuff like trees and bits and pieces being run over but that's about all and then you have I was like an oval shape shot because remember your shot's coming in high so it's not flat it's, it's got a long trajectory um and we'll then go in and then try and basically pound things so you kind of have to keep that in mind but yeah i suppose the one problem is that you can shoot directly onto spawn because most of the maps here are too small Except the really big maps, they they would be able to limit it so you can't shoot directly into spawn, but generally even if you could, uh, you have your spawn protection, so it's not like you're instantly screwed, but it does leave you open to some serious, serious screwage. Okay, nothing happened there. And I get hit once. Sure game. Oh, it's Reaper again. Well. I still need to level this thing up. I've basically done all my SPG kills. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. That I do enjoy, sitting there just doing that to people. Most people don't enjoy it, but yeah. It, it was probably the one thing in World of Tanks that I really enjoyed was sitting there being an artillery piece. And it takes a lot of training to actually get hits. Um, most of the time you just die, you don't get anything, your shots miss. Or if you're lucky, you put a shot through a guy and disable him, and then that's it. The rest of the time you're still dying because the game still doesn't care about certain things. Leave a little package in there. Just let them know that I am still here. This time I'm uh, way more prepared for whatever. I'm not seeing any cockroaches scurrying down there. Not going to lie. Kind of roach free at the moment. Weird. Yeah, I'm still trying to unlock the bomb option for these are three 500 pounders, but as an option and a plane for uh, 
multiple thousand pounders. critical hit he definitely knew he was touched uh let's take this thing out screw it um yeah i wasn't gonna dog fight him i know he is uh he is not feeling good so he can either hang around and get killed or he can go home and lick his wounds this thing i just have to be careful with you don't have another clip that's one thing I'm not a fan of the Italians, is uh, most of the SBAAs are just one-hit wonders. You load the ammo you need, and then you go into battle, and that's it. Oh, game. Damn it. Any tips for USSR? Uh, yeah, man. God damn, you're awesome. Uh, let's just see what's going on this side. Uh, it's like a new vehicle types so there. Atlantic event test for subs. Uh, that's cool. Uh, you'd be very vulnerable to high reload needs set up firing positions. Yeah, you would have to get your stuff pretty much correct. But yeah, um, Fu, coming back to your question, man. Beautiful. Um, nice. Tyler's Hunter is now. Okay, you not be a prick. Okay, so now we need to go back and do this one, which is other fun things. Uh, 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 uh. Take that one. For USSR, yeah, man, you really have to kind of go in and run around. Depending on what you're playing or what you have, you can just go in and strike. Uh, most of the enemies are not not prepared to have you run up on them very close. Any naval task? Uh, no, man. You usually don't do naval anymore, but... No. And if I'm going to be doing naval, it's going to be coastal, so... But yeah, USSR, man. Um, T-34s slightly angled just be very aggressive with it you don't have to sit back and do anything just run out and shoot things um on the other hand if you've got excuse me um if you're stuff like the kv range then again you're as long as you angle a little bit and it's russia day you're you can consider yourself basically invulnerable to most things that's going to look at you and you're going to kill everything off because your guns are good um if it's big guns 152 millimeters or bigger switch out from whatever you're using to the high explosive the he shells and use them they are absolutely amazing um and once you learn how to shoot them just like any tank try and find a flat spot if it's a light tank shoot them wherever you know, you can, uh, you'll get kills with most of the stuff. Um, SPGs, yeah, stay out of the way. Get stuff like the uh, ASU 57, that thing is nice and small, can hide away uh, very deadly. The big thing is make sure that you're always sitting below your enemy. Russian tanks can't aim down, so don't sit on the hill trying to hit the guy in the pit. You are going to die. Um, oh! Suck it. That's all I can say. Although this is probably the dumbest place I can be. Yeah, he's seen me. There's no way he hasn't seen me. Okay, so my gun aims down. What was that about, game? I was never aiming down there. 
Uh, we're back into dumb shit land again. M doesn't want me to get kills. But yeah, big biggest thing with Russia is just never be the guy on the hill. The guy on the hill is the guy who dies because your gun won't aim down. Um, yeah, there's some angling required with this stuff. Sort of mid-angling. Um, some of the vehicles only a little bit, some of them a little more. Uh, Russian planes, they're pretty good. You need to learn how to fly with them and you need to know that you're going to get your kill going, right? Because the problem is most of those weapon systems have very, very limited ammo. Unless, of course, you're using the IL-2. That thing is a gunship with enough ammo to kill everybody in the game three times over. But the other ones, not so much. Um, Russian naval, really good. Uh, again, I'm not... I usually don't play too much or worry too much about uh, blue water ships. It's not something that really interests me. The coastal stuff, that that's where it's at what I like and there's very few games that actually offers you anything for coastal so you know you want to try and make the most of it other than that guy I could hear more bastards around here Killed the elevation on my drive. Um, oh, you killed that too, great. Oh, the, oh you shot off my track this time. Okay. Got some problems in my life here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one in here. But yeah, man. Um, and then when you go up in the Russian tiers, I don't really know. It goes a bit beyond me anyway. But yeah, don't shoot from the low spot. Uh, Russian SPGs are pretty nasty all around. Uh, if it's big guns, use. High explosive shells don't use the normal shells. Because when I started, right, I looked purely at numbers and I'm like, why would you even use this high explosive shell? It's got 52 or 60 mils of pen. You know, you're not going to kill nothing with this. Like, you know, you need to have like serious issues in the brain to think you're going to do with that. And then, uh, was it cyanide? He's like, no, no, man, I'll show you what to do. Showed me what to do and it was absolutely disastrous for the enemy team. Get him, Tiggy. Kick him. Kick his ass. Set you on fire again. I'm not gonna leave you alone, man. Oh, your gun's useless too. And that is an M51 again. Uh, the most useless tank five months ago. Now, the most ungodly tank you will ever fight that doesn't die. Yeah, M51s. Uh, they've gone from trash to unstoppable. I don't know what they have done to them. Uh, their armor now will absorb every hit um, or bounce stuff. They've got, like, no armor on that thing. You used to be able to machine gun them to death. They were one of my favorite targets to go for because everybody uses or has to use them when you start playing Israel. But... Yeah, it was a whipping tank. You saw that thing you were starting to do celebration dance because you know you were going to get some kills then. These days, not so much doing the victory jig anymore. It's kind of sad.
just need to give me targets. I think most of the action is right there, so I'm gonna go back and uh, see what we can get there. Because there was three tanks that was on that zone that there's definitely more than uh, possible my victims for my next assault, so. Oh, there's another one there. <laughs> yeah, now we now we got their attention. Now we got their attention. Beautiful. Get him. 60. Oh, 63. You screwed it, brother. You screwed it real good. Uh, yeah, my fire is somewhere not on the engine again, so. Oh, cool. I actually survived this time. Um, I probably should go back and get repairs done before this turns into something else, which I don't want it to. Oh, never mind. That thing was so messed up, it just sat down. That's one thing that's always weird about these tanks, is they don't really like flying. They like sitting down and dying, but it really doesn't help you, does it? Okay, let's take this thing out here. Alright, I saw a video the other day. This thing on the back, right? That box on the back. That's actually where the radio is on a Firefly. I've learned from a video I watched. Um, yeah. Nice shooting, brother. Um, apparently the the breach of the gun travels one meter back when you're firing a 17 pound gun inside of this thing so it would literally crush the gun as it was where it was so they made modifications to it and actually built the uh, box onto the back of the thing to put their jeez uh... game I need my keys failing when I'm just about to get repairs down here, brother. That's lame and dirty. Thank you, idiot. I saved your life and then you kill me. Where is this guy now? Damn it. There he is. Beautiful. Right, on sir. Trying to save you, man. Trying to save a brother. Foo, I have a school, but I'm gonna keep watching. But yes, so uh, it was right it uh, got crushed. Yeah, man. So they actually just built a strapped a box onto the back and went here. Put your radio in here. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Twisted his head far enough that I couldn't get the head in. Damn it. But yeah, the 17 pound gun, I have to say, is probably still one of my personal favorite low tier guns in the game. Um, other than the Breda, the Breda is definitely on top. Can you put your own planes in arcade battles? Uh, no. You just get to pick if you want. I think it's a a striker, a fighter, or a bomber, and then they will give you whatever's on the rotation. Which is cool though in its own right though, for because you will get to play with um, equipment that has been removed. 
Um, I've played with a couple of planes that was uh, scrubbed from the game many years ago. Um, and you could play with them in there. So sometimes you get to play with some really rare stuff. So that's pretty cool. Oh, gift. Can you... No, so sorry, gift. How are you doing, man? It's good to have you here. Ooh. Yeah. I misread that. I'm trying to fight, survive, not die. Kick another day. I'm pretty sure there's enemy aircraft. I'm gonna go this way. I don't trust that way no more. Dangerous out here, man. I'm doing good. That was good to hear, brother. Welcome to the lounge. And what's your uh, favorite thing to do? You like playing uh, tanks, ships, planes, helicopters? I actually want to have a helicopter day to do PVE. Oh, you don't. Rat bastard. Oh. Oh, I don't want bounced. There we go. Right through the cheek hole. It was not a good day for you, sir. Not gonna be a good day for me either, I feel. The feeling there's people there. Uh, tanks, sometimes planes. Nice, man. What is your, your favorite country to play with? I feel like I have people surrounding me everywhere. I can't always tell friendly, friend from foe here. Unless, of course, it's an Italian and there's no Italians on your team and you hear that wind up on the engine and click 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 and you're like ah uh, italian is here or if some unfortunate dude is playing with an r3 and he starts firing his gun randomly you're like yep there's an r3 <laughs> hard to uh, miss that gun for anything other than what it is Yeah, it's my guys I'm hearing. <laughs> we're all like creeping on each other going, we're gonna kill somebody, and then we're like, oh damn. <laughs> yep, right on the cheek. Oh, you got some German stuff, man. Nice, nice. Um, I was very happy this year I managed to finally get the mouse. Not a huge fan of the mouse, actually. Uh, mainly because I got my ass kicked in almost every match I got up to it, so it was kind of getting a little lame. Uh, but I had a few good matches where I was king of the awesome hill, as you can say. M36 with no gun now. Yeah, he's got problems out the eyeballs now. M6? No, that's not what I shot. Pretty sure that's not what I shot at. No, here's my friend. That's the guy I was shooting at. I said that gun is the front of that thing with the side. That's 36. It shouldn't be good. Oh, I made it to first place. Nice. When that round ends, can I sh show you the best tank for rank one in Germany? Sure thing. What? It, tell me what it is, and I will have a look at it, my friend. And I'll show you what I think is the best one. Yeah, now we get a little closer to that as well. That was a wild mission. That was a wild, wild mission. It went good and bad and sideways, but it worked well. So I'm very much to show us the best thing in Germany. For rank one. My opinion, it would probably be uh, this, the Flak Panzer 38. Um, although... If you're going to BR2, the triple two is kind of 
a reckless, reckless machine. Uh, somebody bought this one as well that I know, and I said it was good. The one on the left. Panzer 35, 38, 38 in uh, FNA. Like I say, my picks is 38 uh, SIG, which can kill all the way up because it has that big old shell. Uh, triple two is good, but yeah, for my event one. And then, of course, the uh, event, summer event vehicle, the KWK P204. Uh, wow. If you rush with Italy to capture a point, would it be effective? Yep, it would be. More than effective, my friend. Uh, get something fast on Italy, especially if you have the R3. It's a point-capping monster. Um, you will run into stuff. Hello, Helgi. What's up? Nobody touched you. All right, calm down. That one. Nice, man. Yeah, the SIG is good. But yeah, um, if you take something like the R3, you can get in there. You will have other light tanks. They'll be on you sometimes equally as quick. But most of them, you will machine gun to death or you know machine gun so your 20 mil will do the job so yeah you really don't have many problems in that match for murdering things off um yeah this is another good spot if you want to snipe you sit on this hill you shoot straight down oh hello br6 what are you doing here My tank is dead. Yeah, I wasn't trying to achieve an up tier. Damn it. Three, six, seven. That's alright. So, yeah. Um, basically what you need to do is sit right here and then you can shoot. Shoot down here. Um, especially this point and this point here. There's some spots you can't see, but you can really just... It's beautiful. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Hey, Hulks. Hello, right, buddy. I'm more just upset that there's only two points because the whole thing is I'm trying to get kills with the Vivan. Now, the Vivan I've taken into BR7 and 8 fights, so as long as I don't get shot down by the jets, which is a problem for me, uh, nothing else really much is a problem for me. Ooh, I see somebody who needs a repair, but I also know that I'm going to make 10 years to get to him. Are we, we calling people wankers again, game? Because I really have to ask, what are you actually yelling? I played this to somebody who doesn't play the game, and they went, yeah, it sounded like they said wanker. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought, right? You guys really not gonna like cover the top there? Just me and my own ass. He's there again. I as one, can you get your head out of your ass? Jeez. Uh, I need a repair anyway, so. Well, that thing went through. Five, six, oh, cool. Yeah. I don't know where any of these guys are. I'm the one who's supposed to be doing repairs, not sitting here repairing. Okay. I just wonder, if you spend less time trying to show people the outside end of your tank, We'd all be much appreciative and actually be happy that you've achieved something other than going, look, look at my house. You guys are dead there. He's going to shoot me first because I'm the one who's been irritating him.
Oh, and he moved. I as one, protect me. Sure. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, I still need to get my vibe burn out, but it's not going to happen. In any of the near future predictions at this point. Hmm, he went away. Eat. They'll do repairs on this thing. I'm gonna follow Ryan around, maybe he'll get shot. Somebody's gonna get shot at some point. Come on, you have to show your ugliness at some point here, buddy. I think my guys are blind who's in the SPAA. And they got 65 rounds. Go. Well, it looked like something came off there. I feel like I'm also about to be assaulted by a tank. Because I can hear something. This range. Oh. Yeah, you took one in the face too. Uh, they're sitting on top of us and we're just laughing but that guy got nuked so hard he literally got vaporized uh, well we can fly with that thing so it means that I could technically go in without a load yeah let's go in without a load see what happens I'm not putting my marks on the high scoreboard that this is going to do anything other than get me killed and the P8 is dead Hopefully he can keep going so he can get his uh, his job done. Crash landing. Ah. That worked. Well, at least he doesn't get a kill. Sorry, man. I gotta go. See you later. All good, Ryan. Have fun, brother. Catch you in the next one. Damn. Yeah. Right. So we got one more repairing streak. We actually need to get our special task back. That's the one other thing I forgot to do. You are really in the mood for not listening to that game, aren't you? Uh, big game. Destroy enemy bases. So that is worth... Well, that's actually on arcade. So that's not too bad. I prefer not to, but if I had to, I wouldn't actually mind either. Destroy light and medium tanks of the enemy. 60. That's not even optional, man. I'll do that one. Come on. Come on. Quickly now. There we go. Good boy. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, a seven. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Okay. Anyway, yeah, if anybody watching who wants to come and play with me, let me know. I'll, uh, yeah, I am more than happy to play with you. Um, how do you activate boosters? Um, uh, you unlock them, click on them, it gives you an option. It says, do you, would, would you like to activate this thing, yay or nay? And you go, yay, and then there we go. Happy days. As easy as that. Uh, 
I'll show you. I'll, I'll activate one after this match. I actually have to do some. Hey, Hulks. Um, and it's the same place you do if you oh, you get on your pillow properly. Um, you know it's not so loud? People think it's me snoring, or it's just you. Lumpy. But, uh, yeah, the... Any of the stuff that you get, you can activate through that menu option there. I really hate being not the fastest tank in the game when I'm trying to run base caps. It's such a bane. <laughs> uh, I feel like complaining about the game today. It's too hot and I'm too tired for sillinesses and the game's like, let me show you. And don't worry, it's not just War Thunder. It is a Gaijin thing. Uh, Enlisted does silly stuff like this. Uh, all the other ones does it. There's not a single one that doesn't do it. I don't know. Come out to this side. Hopefully I don't get shot. There's usually somebody sitting there waiting for you to... Uh, Expose your beautiful vehicle for some tanking. I'm gonna go see it. All good, gift. Thank you for tuning in, man. I hope you stay safe and look forward to seeing you in the next stream, man. There'll be one almost every almost Monday to Friday this time. So, thank you, brother, for tuning in and catch you next time. What am I doing? Yeah, he's alive. Around 150 meters. Sitting on an angle. Yeah, let's run some annoyances. Oh, you don't have to worry just about me anymore, sir. Oh, I shot his, the steering column off the thing. Oh, that's wild. He's not going to be a happy camper. He just lost his steering column. Although, he lost his steering column and then drove away from me. Let's put it that way. How cool is that? He shoots somebody's steering wheel off and he just drives away like nothing happened. Oh, he gone. I have to wait for this thing to stop rocking and rolling. It literally went through his ammo and didn't explode it. That is amazing. You shoot a man's ammo out and his ammo does nothing, so he either had... I don't believe he didn't have a full load. Like, that to me just doesn't seem like a thing. Jeez, it is going wild down there. I want to get my aircraft out. I'm missing out on the good opportunities for multiple bombs there. Raining upon some poor... Poor dude's neck. Uh-oh. I saw you. Yeah, there's one up here, but... Oh, it went into the tank. That was kind of nasty. The concept is gone. BK racing for his life. Nothing I can do about that. Star is why I maybe shoot him in the house, but... He had friends. That's really deep. Oh, you missed. The moral of the story here is the guy with the most friends are usually the guy who gets the most kills. 
<sighs> yeah, I'm gone. That thing literally popped in the water and bounced. Okay, so now I should be able to bring out my fun time. Sweet. Yeah, I was supposed to just get the cap and then roll out of my plane. That's really all I want to do is you, you cap, you die, you take the plane, you go and kill one, two, or five, because sometimes you just have all of them sitting out there dying. Um, but yeah, I took way too long this time. I'm not going to lie. It was one of those weird ones where I just didn't stop. Well, other than the aircraft that is posing a massive threat to me. Um, we should have a bit of fun here, to be honest. There's another one sitting out there, so I really want to go back for seconds. Not really too worried about the SPG that is doing everything he can to uh, make my life miserable, come on. Damn it. Dude has got a lucky hit on the inside of my wing. That's all that was. He broke off the... Probably one of the most important parts of me to stay alive. Oh, he's dead. But yeah, um, I really don't need all this other stuff, so if I, even if I bail out and just continue on. I got one kill, so I need six more. Quick, quick, quick. That is what we're trying to get at. Quickness is, the rest of this is just, those is points, but again, I'm playing on BR5. My tanks are doing like 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm doing the carnivore. Yes, maybe, hopefully, something like that. So I've got you know, 7-7 seven, seven tanks being recessed by 5 tanks, so I don't know how much of my actual XP I'm going to be receiving here. Oh, he lost his tail. Beautiful. He basically flew up and stalled. It was a good idea to try and get out of the way, but stalling mid-air with multiple SBAAs on the ground. Uh, that's a different type of death wish, that is. Oh. That is not fun. Okay. I love how I get hits registered way after I stop firing. Like, all the rounds have landed, and then it goes, hit, and you're like, uh, what did I shoot? If you only now calculate it, I, I may have put the death shot on a guy. I have to ask. I really do have to ask, because I think, just maybe, small, tiny, minuscule chance that uh, you're screwing me out of a kill here, game. I really don't want to continue with this. It's too painful. What country do you live in? I'm currently living in Australia. Wasn't born here, but I live here. Been living here for almost six years now. Almost six. Very close to six. Come on. Eve. Heave, heave, heave. I want you guys to be extremely aware of what is going on down there. I will go and deal with whatever monstrosity you guys are speaking of down here. I'm literally going to drive for every tree if I have to as well. Like, that really doesn't bother me either. Okay, I'm in Australia. That's cool, Foo. 
That was very cool, man. Yeah, I was kind of lame that that guy didn't die. Also kind of lame that I hit him, did a lot of damage, and he literally just kept rolling like he walked it off. Kind of wild. But yeah, as I say, one thing I do like about TikTok and streaming to it, other than obviously this weirdness that I have to deal with for the setup, is uh, that I get to meet a lot more Aussies. Um, on my other channels, I would say it's, depending on flavor of the month, it's really between Americans, Germans, and Russians is really my, my flavor. I don't really get I got a tiny bit of Australians, but yeah. Damn. We got whipped in that one. Still got some kills. Almost got points for that. Um, so yeah. Oh, go. Oh, quick. Mush. So we need six more kills. So we really need a good match where I can take the Vivan out and really just be a pain. Does not feel like a good match. Like a pain in the ass match or I'm gonna get shot. So this is 250 meters, so 500, 750. About 900 meters I have to drive from here to there. Each each block is 250 meters long. Yeah, 800 meters. Look at that. I said 900, so I, I was close enough. It's blind guesswork. Like the uh, GTA style tank driving here. I have to say thank you. You didn't just crush me like a bug into the wall. Most people have been like, oh, you're trying to go past me? You're going to die. So, I appreciate the uh, non-crushing there. I really wish we had some uh, different weather than a perfectly clear skies with unlimited visibility. It makes it a little easier to come in here with a plane. It's like when I was doing the uh, rocket kill thing with the Vivan. It was way more fun when it was overcast and the enemy couldn't actually eyeball me from 6,000 miles out. Okay. Keep our eyeballs peeled. Everywhere. Five zero zero. Yes. Try to catch where this guy is. I don't even care if I die. Like I said, it's all about get point, get plane, and be the first guy with a plane on the battlefield. The first guy who comes out, he's the guy who's going to be good because at low BR, nobody comes out swinging with SPAOs first thing off the bat. So you can really kind of. You know, make the most of things here. So, we'll be unnecessarily aggressive towards the enemy and push into their territory. Um, death is kind of what we're hoping for here. This is the Banzai run. Okay, apparently we have enemy here. Enemy is here, jeez. Guys really got him in behind us. Well, there you are. We We 
thought the shell came in from behind him or from in front of him, not realizing I was already pushing into the territory much more than I should be. You know, I'm just having fun with this, and this is bad. I'm supposed to be dying and not murdering. The quicker I die, the quicker a plane comes out before the enemy brings in 6,000 fighters to shoot me down. Or everybody and their dog's got an SPAA sitting on the ground. I apparently attract SPAA gunfire. They can miss me and that still will rip my wings off or something. Okay, so we're dropping out in front of them. I don't know how long it's going to take. But it could be disastrous for somebody. He's just going to keep going, although he is on fire. Took out some of his ammo there as well. Now he's going to kill me. Yeah. Two, f two straight through the engine, and he is still on fire, and he still kicks my ass. That's the same. What is the best country? Well, in the world or in the game? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the question here. Game. Um, that's difficult to say, man. I suppose if you want the most balanced one, you go for the Americans, because, yeah, air power there is a little more superior to the rest of this junk. Um, British have really good stuff, too, if you learn, but it really comes down to your play style and what you like like one thing over another thing that's going to be the best thing in the game for you no you don't okay, so how far away did that land because that is a thousand pounder game it's not a five pounder Try again. I'm not gonna leave you alone. You shot at me, man. Uh, but yeah, depending on who you play with, people say Germany, they've got all sorts of greatness. Uh, the Russians, because they always have a lot of modern stuff. The Americans, because some people think that America is just the best at everything, so there we go. Personal choice is what I would say is the whatever you want it to be. Oh. Just couldn't stop the fire. The Vivan is good, but it has some serious drawbacks on uh, a lot of aspects in this game. I still need to get a bloody repair. That's what I need to see. Repair. This is why I don't do the repair one. Like, most of the time you see these guys... They take a hit and they roll off like that 2S1. Two hits with high explosive shells and he still walks it off. Or you can literally be killed by anything in one hit so you really don't get options to guard and repair. Uh, when diving, use the air brakes. Uh, no, I want to get out of there. The uh, the Vivern, if you slow it down too much, becomes a brick. You have to stay well above 300 to uh, to actually make it useful. Anything under 300, it basically doesn't steer, and you will just fall out of the sky, which is really fun, actually. I've had that so many times; it's not even funny anymore. You tried to help. Oof, you got seen there. Well, I'm not really in the mood for any of the other ones. Like I said, I'm just trying to roll one thing over at a time. We are just trying to get this particular tiny painful task knocked off the list.
um, which is four more kills on the ground. I'll leave that one up. I am going to keep my eyes open to see if anybody needs repairs. Uh, but four kills. Four matches, one match. Who knows? Most kills I've done with a Vivan and a match is 11, so... Yeah, go figure. The two-point two cap just is where... It's like the bane of my life when I... Half of my strategy on my teams would be to go out and strike with my aircraft. Um, and that's why I favor countries with good good capabilities on the aircraft. Um, that's where you're going to have America, Russia to a degree with some of their planes, like the two pull off two. Um, the British, a lot of stuff there as well. Some of the Germans and the rest of the countries basically rely on other countries. Better vehicles to assist them not dying. Um, or better planes anyway for bombs. But generally, yeah, you're kind of in this weird spot where you're always getting your ass whipped. Unnecessarily, of course. Um, so yeah, you need a quick vehicle. Go out there, cap, kill, die. Get a vehicle, get the plane out and start trolling around. Um, it doesn't always work out, as you can see. But more often than not, it does. Oh, he did see me. There's like multiples of them going back that way. Yeah, everybody wants to go play at sea, like this is a three point cap. It isn't. But yes, um, the British, I have a major problem with the. That South African vehicle I'm using, uh, 105 kilometers an hour. But, here is the big but, um, many years ago they removed the, uh, they basically removed traction off the thing, so now you have a vehicle that yes, can go 105 k's an hour, but will never actually hit it in the game because there's almost zero maps where you can hit full speed. Poland is one of the strange ones because that is the only map that I'm aware of that you can actually hit full speed on so yeah uh, especially if you drace up to Charlie on both sides that is the that is the only spot that I am very much 100% sure you will hit full speed or at least so close to it that it's you're not going to worry about it really a lot of smoke coming out from behind that hole but I can't say I'm uh, particularly happy about oh, there's something up there nothing I can deal with that's all Guys don't want to shoot anymore. That's cute. Sure, there's nothing up there. Damn it. Let me guess, I got tapped from the side. No front shot. Okay. Not really, game, but okay. We'll, we'll let you have your, your five minutes of glory. That was weird. That was really weird. That's right. But yes, um, concept is not what it used to be. If it got its traction back, the swing would be... It's basically the same idea then as an R3. Obviously you're much bigger than an R3, that is given. But speed-wise, that's what you could do. You could race out there, cap the point, and yeah, you, you would constantly be hitting like 70, 80 k's an hour. 
which means it was hard for most people to shoot you, and the big tanks, um, if you caught them at the right angle where you had attacking and driving past them, they would actually be too slow to keep up with you to turn their gun on you, so... Um, it was like double victory to be racing around in this thing. If you're going downhill, then you're basically okay, because then you have enough speed to to get into it. So you'd normally be cruising at about this speed all the time, no matter what map. So you can you can kind of imagine how good that is when you can do that. I need to get my tank here. Oh, I'm not on the bloody, not touching the damn point. God damn it, you have to touch the square from what I remember. Yeah, you have to be on the square. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, so bad. There's one like, right here. You guys are going to have to start uh, being helpful here if you don't want my ass shot off. Which I really don't. Oh. There we go. Artillery got in there. Damn it. Yeah, I'm still not using the rest of these vehicles. <sighs> Screw your game. Screw your game and your freaking one marks. Yeah, it's usually when I the game realizes that I'm going to be running point caps that I will get one single points and double point caps the days when i'm trying to do anything other than that like i hear it's like sixty thousand freaking points a cap and you're like i'm gonna get you for this one game or even more fun right the day when you're playing uh in an r3 and there's german tanks and i mean i'm not talking about the little puma i'm talking about like full German 5357 five, battle tanks rolling in just as fast as you are. You hit that point, you get like 5 seconds of cap and then you are surrounded and you're like uh, no. That's not how it works game. But yeah, I should be faster than that thing. That is that gives you kind of the idea of where you're at, what you should be doing, what you should be able to achieve. The miracle of the game of lies. Smoking doesn't really help, brothers. You're basically giving them targets to shoot at, is what you're doing here. Yeah, we got our job done. Uh, we might have made enough points for our plane, I don't know. There we go, I can actually get out of this hell hole. Yeah, we're just going with kamikaze runs here right into the enemy. But nothing more at this point. They're, they're on top of me here. Oh, it's a two round. Two round three. Yeah. Oh, hello. I have to, like, drive to get the thing out. Go fast enough around. Thank you. This close you guys are gonna pay and you're gonna pay with your damn lives 
It's only fair, I think. I'm trying to get killed here, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm basically in the enemy's territory. Nice little flat spot there. <laughs> I have actually gone head to head with a T-34 and killed him. And I mean head to head as in he shot at me. The shell hit me. Bounced off. And my neck shot went through the front and killed everybody inside. It was kind of gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, we got a Breda. Breda, Breda, Breda. Brother, brother, brother. Oh, I, I see all you prickets here. Boom! A little double strike. That is gorgeous. We still got the center bombs. That was left and, lefty and righty. Now we're going right down the middle. people who likes to uh, camp out there there we go that's three kills uh, I could go out again but I can't take anything unfortunately very close to being able to go out again but yeah that's three kills if it didn't make love to the trees it would be more but yeah well that bomb also fell in between the two guys it would have been more but again that puts us only one kill out from what we need. And that is great, because that means Thunderbirds is then completed. And then we can prepare for the next one. So the next one is... It's kind of a bad one. You need to do a lot of work for this one. This one... No, that's... Sorry, I'll show you afterwards. Um, it's one of those ones we have to get, I think, 10 kills... It's, can I need to make sure I don't get confused. There's one of them, which I think it is, which is you need to get 10 kills with different size guns. So I think the first one is up to 20 mils, then 20 to 30, then whatever, and then over a certain amount. Hey, Jurassic, how you doing, man? Welcome back. It's good to have you here, brother. How you doing? Um, so it's, it's like six different 10 kill requirements and then there's also a the other one is get certain amount of kills with each country now those ones i really prepared for early on because that was always the bane as that one then go that was good to hear man that's good to hear yeah this guy's using a t50 to cap points uh, it's basically useless, by the way. It's not the old days where the cap point was determined by what BR you play in. It's determined by the BR of the vehicle you cap in. So I could take the R3 into top tier and still make as much points as doing it at 5.7. I don't get any difference. It used to be that way, and that's why you saw a lot of people chumming around with this junk. But, yeah, not anymore. Can I join? Of course you can join, man. Of course you can join. Yeah, we've got some points. I don't think this is going to be enough to get a Vyvan out, so we may need to pull a kill here to uh, sweeten the deal, shall we say. I'm sticking my ass into traffic here, so I don't expect anything great here. I will have about two seconds to live once I see the shot fired, and all I can hope for is that the guy's aim is off. But believe you me, be believing and hoping that that is the thing that's going to save you, that is particularly stupid. Damn. See, you got a couple of seconds to live. 
Uh, but yeah, now I have to sit and wait for them to do something. Using the little... I can't even get the little bombs. It's so lame. If I get... I need to get a full cap, basically. Or for cheating, you hit and... That's range. Oh. People are getting violent. Is that guy still there? Did, you, did somebody kill him yet? Because that'll give me enough points, actually. Garbage can be full of cheats. Well, that is probably true, and you're probably just upset. Yeah, that guy's probably more right. The, the programming is a little, a little rough. Mixed with bad ping, yeah, you're gonna get badness. You guys gonna actually get what I need, or are you just gonna sit here and let me not get anything? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna happen, guys. Uh, we'll have to. We'll jump out. Hey, G bro, what you got, man? Good to have you back. Back here, Huggy. Will you not kick? Wait, never. Mind. I gotta do my. I'll go somewhere. All good, brother. Bro again. One more. One more. One more. Um, what do we do? Yeah. I think that one might go do some error. Oh. Thank you, game. Thank you for making me hate life. This is what it feels like. You're just trying to make me hate life. <laughs> Single cap on a foggy day. Yeah. That SM92 on the Italians, I really, really need to get leveled out. Because um, then I at least have bigger bombs. Like, me, my way is not so much the rockets, I like bombs. And it's because I played so much enlisted that it kind of ingrained in my brain of what to do and how to do. So... Yeah, that's kind of a thing for me now, at this point. That I want to do that, and I can do it. And I'm re relatively good at doing it. So, yeah, a lot of times my kills will depend on my ability to uh, get Cass on Battlefield with a couple of big bombs strapped to the bottom of it. <sighs> Game... Since when is the Avenger quicker? What the hell have you guys done to that damn thing? Like, all of the British tanks at the moment are just, like, freaking jacked up crackheads. I don't need this game. Then you're just gonna drive in front of me, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Yep, he's in there. I might have to go around and get kills. I'm assuming it's a light tank that crawled in through the artillery strike. Okay. Completely misses. Uh, game. I'm just gonna put it out there, you're being a bastard, but whatever. Snail is not feeling my love. I just want to get this done. I'm thinking tomorrow, maybe we should do some helicopters. Because there's this PvE helicopter battles. Um, and maybe I can get a little better and get some more stuff leveled up. Hey W, how you doing man? Welcome back. It's good to see you. Oh, God, game. Can I, for the love of everything, that farts just not have to deal with this? Where's three points? Just give me three points across the map. That's all I want. This thing has really, really got a stick driven in there about not allowing me to point cap to get my plane out on the battlefield. Driver ready. Oh, you guys got the 9053. Nice. I miss playing with my one. That was a good, good session playing with that thing. I can't wait to add it to the lineup.
Yeah, shoot at me, because everybody in front of me is driving slow as hell. I'm not Mr. Slowpoke here, brother. But you keep blaming me, it's alright. Let's go. The snail doesn't want peace. No one wants blood. Blood money. Okay. Roll. Also know that I've got zero backup, so if I get into it, I'm dead. Although, yeah. One of those things. Come on. Okay, nothing yet. I was expecting a lot more action up here. But I might just be a little quick to the game. Need to give it a minute to breathe like a, like a wine. See what crawls out of the holes. Something always comes out of the holes. That's nothing down there, so let's just keep rolling. Saw that one way too late. It. I just want a point cap game where I can go and capture and not have to bloody share it because there's some dude who decides that it's cool to run BR1 tanks because it makes them get more points. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Like I said, your tank only if you cap. Oh, for God's sakes, we're here, we are again. Your, your tank only gets the points for whatever you cap at your BR. So it's not the game BR, it's the vehicle BR. Because I was trying to do that, right? Be cheeky, take an R3 into top tier battles with other people and go and point cap. Because I'm like, oh man, I'll make freaking tons of money. Maybe get a plane out there, maybe they miss me. I get on target and I kill everybody that moves. I got my ass beat six ways from yesterday. That was, that was the nice way to put it. So, yeah, that idea needs to be scrubbed. Come on, Helgi. Give me a good luck, Snore. Enough points to get my plane out and go do one bombing run into an enemy. I'm so keen to kill him, I would literally come across him and drop all three bombs on him. I would, I would literally unload everything I have just to get this thing done like sometimes it feels like you're really just you're doing really good and then the game realizes what you're doing so it really drives a stick in there that you are not allowed to do that I don't know why it is like that I just know it is like that Damn it. Moving too fast. That's alright. The fact that he's tagged and got shot at means that his life is not not so good and maybe getting that assist will be enough. Uh, let's run some specs out here to see if we can pick up anybody but I don't think we're going to so let's try and pick up Mr. Light Tank up here again. Knowing him, he is, he is not going to stop. He has now obviously popped smoke as well. I don't like this. It feels dumb and dangerous. I think they took out his fuel tank, not his gunning crew. Or gun. Shot looked like it hit pretty far back on the vehicle. Damn game. Can we just not be so useless for once? Yeah, I don't know. This thing is just really being a prick today. That guy was a dead man. 
but it is gonna i've added where i try to kill a, a heavy tank for an hour and i couldn't get one heavy tank to show up in a match and then every time i shot at them apparently my rounds would bounce and i'm talking about a weapon that would penetrate on every other day six of them in a line <laughs> it just it doesn't work some days it just doesn't work we're gonna have to do those at some point hey august maybe later today we can get those done hey pickles come on game give us a match there we go beautiful ah oh, three points as well um but i don't know where i want to go where's we got to be Seems like this possibly place to hide, although I'm heavily doubting it. But uh, we basically can carve through here. This means we're driving on road rather than pathways. And of course, start me on an uphill. The game is really just being rude today. It was like yesterday I got and went in the G6 that started me on front of a rock, and I'm like. Well, I, the G6 has, I think, a single reverse gear, and it is slow, like most British things. Um, it would have been nice if I had more than a single reverse gear to play with. Like, some of these vehicles, absolutely beautiful. you you got good reverse speed, you can shoot and then reverse out of the way, or, you know, if you need to go back a little bit to get a better shot at a guy, it's all there, it's just waiting for you. And then you get some of these tanks. I think the Avenger has the same thing. Single reverse gear, 4Ks an hour. Like, it was not designed for going backwards. Okay, here we are. Are we? Yeah, okay, now I have to fight for my life again. Okay, can I just have a game where I don't have to fight for my life? I ask you kindly, kindly old snail. Don't let my life become this to get one, one little plane kill. And also, maybe let the artillery artillery land on him. Oh, we need to complete this cap, whatever we do. I don't care if we die after we cap. And I think I died just before the cap went through. But it's alright, we got our vibe in, and we're going for B because there's three guys sitting in that zone. Yeah, there was a, there was a ASU 57, a KV, and I'm pretty sure a M4 of some flavor sitting there, so... That is what I'm talking about. That, there, makes me happy. Okay, let's not get too happy until the, the bombs actually drop and the kill counter goes from zero to one. Then we can be unnecessarily satisfied. But until such point, let's let's not be. Beautiful. Now we can be overly satisfied. And I'm pretty sure there's more down there. Yep, there's another one down there. Well, apparently that one didn't count, but yeah. Okay. Well, as it goes, usually when you start, and the game finally lets up on its nonsense, then you get that 20 kill match and you only needed one. You know. 
not complaining too much. Kills are kills. And we need 2,600 and something to uh, get our next vehicle out. Oof. Oof. We're going to snap it off. And snap it off. There we go. Yeah, once you get to about 320, you're, you're good. Okay. Hit the brakes. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, dudes, load her up. Let's go. <laughs> that was gorgeous. So that's what I'm talking about. That's that's the sort of games we need to go in there and just take a slice of enemy off the freaking list. Ooh, sub forty three. Skidding around in here. There's a Brita five hundred one. It's absolutely trampling the team. So we need to go find him. Twenty mil. Just for you, sir. Just for you. Got your name on it, so let's go. Get this and take off. Okay. Jeez, that dude crash landed, ripped his. Oh no, here he is. I thought it was, took off. Well, still been sitting on the runway for a half an hour and he's still here. Yeah. Wheels are tightly folded away and it's time to play Santa Claus. He's getting insane ideas. flying away from me. Get him SBA. Wreck his day. Completely lost sight of him basically. Oh, there he is. Don't really want to be dealing with this. I was just hoping to deal with some ground action. This is the cast machine, not the deal with the enemy fighter pilot problem. So often turns out to turn into anyway. Yep, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, so it says there is no fire. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you that is a lie. There is plenty of fire. But it's right. Now we don't have to deal with that anymore. The tech right off the damn list. There we go. So that is two challenges for today. Done and dusted. I like that. Come on, get away. Yeah, so cannonade. It is this one. Auto, small, medium, large, huge. So it's up to 35, 35 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 120, and 120 plus. So, yeah. And it is ground only. So you need to be aware of that as ground only. Ooh, 35 more kills. 10. I have to find better one, so I'll have to find that one. 35 to 60. Well, the 40 millimeter Bofors can do that job. Uh, 60 to 90. I wonder where the Brita would fall because technically I'm assuming it'll actually fall here, not here. This one I got some stuff for possibly in my bigger guns and then 120 plus that is that's just gonna be other guns. Uh 94, so that would be cool for that one. This is 77 millimeters. Dangerous got 76. Yeah, so I've got plenty of stuff in that mid-range craziness. Uh, there's nothing else going on yet, so... 
get our reward. And let's just actually put the other challenge on the list so I don't have to worry about it later on. But yes, we're basically up to date now and we are now sitting at level 35. So we actually had a major jump up because we completed two challenges. So we went from the high 20s to the mid 35s. So happy days. And at 40, we get this one. Mm. Oh, there's a big belly puppy. There's a big belly puppy. So we have to play eight of the nations at BR three or above any anything. So that's gonna be fun. Hey Helgas. Oh, it's such a lazy puppy. But yeah, people, I think that's enough for today anyway. It's been a good day gaming. We got some good kills. We didn't complete this thing, but it is what it is. We got to 35. So we are 16 away from hitting the Brita 1953. So I can come back and join in here. Slot it over this thing. And then we have plenty of action to have some fun and yeah i can't wait to get its camo either it's just a little further um i think this is a really nice camo a really interesting camo but yeah having this and the other britters it's really kind of dirty um i can have can be a good amount of fun and then of course um i would absolutely love to get this little little dude out Still surprised that only sports seven more cannons. Um, but yeah, you got you got rockets for days, man. Three hundred fifty mil too. So these are not these are not your type of rockets that you worry too much about what goes on. This is the sort of thing where you see three guys on the ground, you can kill them, and you can see how little this is. It's a little plane. Like a tiny mosquito. It looks big when you, you know, up close and personal with the thing, right? But when you're down on the ground and you're trying to shoot at me, I know you can probably lock me with stuff, but I'm talking about your general, general insanity, right? It's a little harder. I don't really know what that's going to do. Obviously, you can get badly messed up. You have no countermeasures. But it has its good points and its bad points. But I think as a striker craft, you, you can have a bit of fun with this one. 7 moles, yeah. It should have been 50 cals or 20s. Still got twenty three of these. But I had more. But yeah, again, rockets is not my forte, so but if you were good with rockets and you got one of these bad boys to land. You could definitely murder something off. Uh, but yeah, if rockets is not really your thing, that's alright too. The strike master has uh good snake eyes. So it's 500 pounders. So it's got the standard 500 pounders. So it's only a 7 meter kill range. And then there is the 540, which gives you 8 meters kill range. Just definitely a little better. You also have some flamers. You've got more machine guns. You've got Mighty Mouses. You've got T80s. You've got SNEB Type 23s. And you've got T80P. But you, you really have a lot of dirtiness here that can uh, ruin somebody's day with this little bird. But we'll worry about that later, people. For now, that is it. I will be back on later today. So three hours time for another session in the game. So do keep your eyes open for that. But as always, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for tuning in. It has been good. And me and Helgi appreciate all the love and kind comments and all the stuff you guys do. So... Yeah, let's keep growing the community and keep being awesome people. So as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and follow and support us here on YouTube through Super Chat, Super Sticker, Super Thanks. Get a membership to the channel and check out the merch store. 
come and join us on discord and come and have a chat to show us all your cool videos if you're on tiktok and want to do the same thing then just click go to my channel click on the link to the youtube and boom everything is there but with that said people stay safe have a better one and i look forward to catching you guys in three hours time for the next session see you guys then